I'm then broke and I can't access my fund in my PayPal account. Why? Hello everyone. Good day. Good day. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to GS Global Consultative Channel. As you already know, we are here to give you value, to always promote and give you all the goodies you need to grow yourself as an online brand and as an online entrepreneur. So guys, thank you guys for my subscribers. We really clock a thousand subscribers. The way you guys are really supporting my channel, supporting my videos, and also finding value in every of my content. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm really grateful. I'm really grateful. I'm really grateful. So today's video is something which I believe most persons have been really complained about. Most persons have really come to my DM complaining about the same issue that PayPal has helped their fund, and this is why I want to bring out it, bring out time to talk more about how this type of problem can be rectified. When you are damn broke and you notice that you have a lot of fund in your PayPal account and it is being kept on hold by PayPal probably due to the fact that it was being banned or probably due to the fact that you have something that you have to do in order to free the account or it's been kept on hold so please and please what I'll be advising you to do in this video is do well to watch this video to the end I will promise this video is not going to take your time it's not going to take much time so I want it to be very easy for you to easily grab every of the details i'll be talking about so in order to get every vital information do well to watch to the end because everything i'll be discussing here is how you can be able to get out your phone from paypal if your phone is being if your account is being limited and restricted or you just notice that you can't access your phone from paypal this is just what i'll be explaining and giving a detailed video so please though this video is going to take longer time so i'll be breaking it in three parts so if you want to make sure that you watch every of the three parts of this video to get out your phone from paper how you can get out your phone from paper i'll be dividing this video in three parts this one you are watching is the part one the part two will be coming out next and the third part will also be coming out next so all you can just do is watch this one stay tuned stay subscribed so once the part two drops you get notified and you watch that too and also when the part three drops you still get notified and watch that too so i won't want any of you to miss any of this detailed video so please see you in the video and don't forget to subscribe and like this video thank you guys welcome to the video officially so guys as i've said welcome to gg's global consult youtube channel in this channel we make sure that we give you all the details information valuable content that you can use to grow your brand as an online entrepreneur so please and please today's video is just a simple video and i believe it's going to be a helpful one at that too so what i'll just advise you to do is stick to the end of this video watch everything in details and follow up every of the procedures which i'll be explaining in this video and for you not to miss out any content and if you find it difficult or if there's any issues you have with all the things i've said just kindly drop it in your comment in the comment section below so you get out i'll look at your comment and i'll reply you instantly so all you just have to do is watch to the end and if you find it difficult in doing drop your issues in the comment section below so guys let us go on to the video officially so many things people have been telling me about how they are found are being held by paypal sometimes due to some reasons which they really don't understand so to my own understanding i believe if paper wants to hold your fund maybe probably you are the type of persons that you receive fund on a regular basis and you have been using that paypal account for a long time though maybe you haven't verified the account like some account like an african account like nigerian account here most of the account we use are lesotho account so that is some reason that is the reason because our country can't receive payment from paypal all we can do is just to make payment and buy stuff online but not to receive fund that's why most of us think it's better and it's good for us to just easily register a, a, a Lesotho account, a UAE account, a US account, just a foreign account in order to just be able to have an account that we can use to receive funds. Though we pray and hope that someday PayPal that they help us to resolve this issue so that we can be able to use our country account in order to verify and also have every credential right to claim that this account is ours and is going to be ours so please and please the thing i'll be talking about in this video is simple 
There are many things that really cause paper to hold your phone. Number one, probably if your account, the number one issue, number one stuff that really cause most of these things is number one, if your account is being banned or restricted, probably if it is temporarily banned or permanently banned. If it is temporarily banned, you are seeing a good site, which means if your account is temporarily banned, which means PayPal is just asking for further verification to know who you are to know their customer kyc something of such so you just know that once that stuff comes up and you notice it says you are temporarily banned the thing you just need to do is just to go ahead to the, the required document that paypal asks you to submit please and please do well to submit the exact document if they ask for your id submit your id and another thing i noticed some persons used, used to do which i think I will be I'll be talking about in a new video for you to understand. Some persons create an account indicating that the account is a Lesotho account. And when you want to verify it, you now verify with your Nigerian documents. Come on, who does that? People are very wise, and I've always said this since. People are country specific and regional specific. If you are the type that create a Nigerian account, verify that account with your Nigerian details. If you are the type that create a Lesotho account, verify with the Lesotho details. Something of such. I'm not saying that you should start claiming that you are a Lesotho citizen, not that. But every information, since you are creating a business account, you go ahead and get a Lesotho business document to verify such. So this is how easy as it is. And for you people that are finding it difficult to create an account, I have a course that teaches you how you can create a legal PayPal account. When I say legal PayPal account, this account is going to be an account that you can use legally from any part of the world. So all you can just do is go to the description below. I'll drop the link there. So you go and grab this course and learn it for yourself. It also comes the video guide so that you can learn and watch me as I create a brand new account. So all you just need to do is go to the description section below, grab this course, learn how to create your PayPal account in the comfort of your home no matter where you are if you're in africa if you're in us if you're in uk if you're in lesotho any part of the world and this account this video course also comes with all the requirements that you need in order to create a paypal account so all you just need to do is go ahead and grab the course for your benefit and also use it for your own good thank you very much so i'll be moving ahead to the video proper so as i said the main thing that means that might cause paypal limiting your account or holding your fund is number one if your account is temporarily limited or permanently limited as I already discussed earlier about the temporary limitations by providing the document paper asks you to provide that is just the simplest way to resolve that and for the permanent limitation that is not an issue I believe you guys have, have dropped so many videos on how you can restore back a permanently limited PayPal account. You can go on to my play video content, watch most of them on how to restore back a permanently limited PayPal account. It's there. So, and again, the next thing I can also talk that causes PayPal limiting your account is also if your account is on hold, probably for 21 days. Maybe, for instance, you receive a payment from a customer that buys stuff from you and the money comes in instantly and for instance and you have been the type of person that such amount has not been entered or probably the, the amount came in without a proper description maybe it lacks a, a tracking id something of such can really cause that too so the thing you just have to do is once that type of thing comes up you just go ahead provide your tracking id that is if you're a business owner if the amount if the money comes in as goods and services provide your tracking id and provide most the, the detailed information about that transaction because people don't believe money comes in unless if the person wants to send this and family and friends and now people doesn't even don't even accept family and friends payments any longer all you just need to do is it's strictly for business and it should be business so whenever you receive any payment and the payment just comes in as gift people will still hold it because they won't believe that they are not in support of family and friends any longer. So you just have to understand that any money that comes into your account is only for business purposes. And once it comes in as a business purpose account, once it comes in as a business purpose payment, all you just need to do as a vendor is to provide your tracking ID for that goose, provide the tracking ID and also the goose description. This is just a simple thing for you to do, for you to release your money that has been held by 21 days withhold, something of such. And for us that is permanently limited, I have another content for you guys there. So as I've said, I'll be explaining this video, I'll be splitting this video in three ways. 
where you can be able to withdraw your fund or probably how you can assess your fund number one here is getting a refund if you are the type that your account is permanently limited you get a refund which i'll be discussing in this video but subsequent video that will be coming up i'll be teaching you guys how you can create a backup account so this is the one that will be coming up next how you can create a backup account so the third one is going to be how you can appeal to paypal or ask paypal to help you get out your fund instantly fast so this is just all i'll be discussing in my video which i said i'll be splitting this video into three parts so all you just need to do is after watching this wait for the next one after you have subscribed because it's once you subscribe you get notification once the second drop and the third drops so now i'll be going ahead to tell you how you can request for a refund if your account is permanently limited once you know you have an account you have a payment you should have received but if funnily it's been limited so the only thing i can ask for you to do here is very simple whenever you notice that your account is permanently limited and you have your fund installed and withhold in your paypal account you don't have access to that account and you can't even withdraw your phone and you can't even close the account what you just need to do is ask for a refund when i mean by ask for a refund i will explain in details for you to understand to ask for a refund is just simple go on to your description the, the, let me say the transaction that brought in that money to your account just go ahead there click on that transaction simple as that once you want to click on it the details of who the sender is and everything will be brought out in a drop down menu so you just know that the best thing you just need to do is go ahead ask the sender that have sent you the money probably the person that sent the money to your account if it's someone you can really trust ask the person to click on to refund so something is there is just the simplest way you can get out your money from a permanently limited account that is one of the simplest ways to get out your money from a permanently limited account so you just notice that once you ask your sender the person that sent you the payment to ask to redraw the money for you like by clicking on refund in terms of chargeback something like that because paper is guided by chargeback so once the sender clicks on refund they believe that this person is no longer buying your goods so the person there is the main thing that the person now will collect the whole cash to his own account so once the account once the person collects that the whole amount to his own personal account you can now ask him to send it to you through other means that is another way you can be able to get out your money from paypal so as i've said this video is just for the refunding process all you just need to do is stick stick to this channel so when i'll be dropping the part two on how you can create a backup account and that one is also a, a easy means of getting this so you create a backup account for your paypal for you to easily get out your fund if you are the type that you notice that the sender you don't if you are the type that doesn't trust your sender you just make sure that you watch the video once it gets dropped so i'll be dropping the video very soon and i mean very soon all you just need to do is stick to this channel stay subscribed and do not forget to turn on the bell notification icon so once you turn on the bell notification icon you get notified instantly once i drop the part two of how you can get out your phone if you are broke so please thank you guys thank you very much i believe this video really worth it all you just need to do is just show me some love by clicking on the like button sharing this video and also stay subscribed Thank you very much though we are we have crossed a thousand subscribers and we pray that ten thousand is our target and we believe we will get we will surely get there so all i just need for you to do is just stick to the end of this video stick to our channel and also do not forget to like share and subscribe love you guys see you in my next video please the next one is going to be the best and the best way you can be able to get out your phone by creating a backup account so for you not to miss it stay subscribed see you in the next video and bye for now